الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. We praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we thank Him for enabling us and providing us with the best of His blessings. We also send salutation completely to be bestowed upon His Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for the endless efforts that he exhibited to see that Islam prevails till it reached to us. It's indeed a great honor for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to be among those who are blessed with this ni'mah. Today, inshallah, we are reminding ourselves about the dangers of jealousy, al-hasad, because it is a very bad disease for someone to have it inside his heart. As a Muslim, you should wish for your brother what you wish for yourself, but that can't happen if someone has jealousy inside his heart or her heart. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in one of the authentic hadiths, he says that, um, wal hasad, stay away or avoid being with envy inside your hearts, because for envy brings about someone's good deeds to be eaten away, just like you may see fire eating up firewood. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us far from envy. Envy or jealousy is one of the greatest sins. Actually, the first sin to be committed in heaven, it <coughs> was jealous. Yes. How did this happen? Mm. Sheikh told us here that remember the instance mm. which happened after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the first creation, and that was Adam alayhi salatu was salam. Yes. He told the angels to prostrate and bow down mm. to Adam alayhi salatu was salam. All angels did that. Except Iblis. Except Iblis, Satan. Yes. May Allah's curse be upon <coughs> him. Yeah. Why did that happen? It happened just because he saw himself superior. And when Allah created him, no angel prostrated for him. Yes. So it was <coughs> something bad for him to see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling angels to prostrate for Adam who has been created out of clay and for him mm. you have created me out of fire and you have yeah. created Adam out of clay yes. how can I how can I proceed for her so it was envy and jealousy yes so it was, it was the envy. first sin or the first evil to be done or committed in heaven so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us stay away from that. Allahumma amin. Allahumma amin. Mm -hmm. Sheikh also told us here that it was also the first, or rather the second, sin. Because if we are to count since the creation of the earth, yes. it is the second after yes, the other generation that perished away. And after Nuzul Adam, it is the first sin to be created, to be committed here on earth. How did this happen, Sheikh? For jealousy to be the first to be committed on earth. The two sons of Prophet Adam alayhi salam, no. when Allah requested them mm. to bring something, mm. Allah told them that provide something Make a sacrifice. Make a sacrifice mm. for me. قُرُبَانًا فَتُقُبِّلَ مِنْ أَحَدِهِمَا So, when they made a sacrifice, Allah chose one item. The two of them made the sacrifice, yes. and Allah chose one yes. out of the two. Out of the so two. the one whose sacrifice was not accepted by Allah was envious and jealousy upon the uh, other upon his brother. so that created envy yeah. and it led into one yeah. killing or murdering the other, one. the other one so it gives us this in history that envy or jealousy mm -hmm. is the second uh, is the first sin to be created to be made here <coughs> on earth so we have also looked at how does islam judge someone who has envy or how does islam judge envy we say that it is haram it is forbidden. It's yeah. not allowed for a Muslim to have envy upon the other. 
and where is our on, authority? On the authority of mm. Ibn Anas bin Malik radiallahu anhu. Mm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him. No. He told us that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mm. said in, he, in his tradition no. that la, la taghababu, no. do not hate one another. Wala tahasadu, do not envy one another. Do not have do jealousy not upon jealousy. one another yes. for the blessing that Allah has given him or her. Yes. Just be happy. Because we are brothers. Wakunu ibad Allahi ifwanan. Okay. Yes. And be brothers in Islam upon one another. Be so, servants of mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. as brothers. Mashallah. Don't hate one another. Mm. We Avoid also, jealousy in your hearts. Mashallah. Sure. We also looked Allah at Allah the reasons Allah. which may make one to have envy or which may bring jealousy. Yes. What could do? this be brought about and we looked at al-adawat wal baghda enmity enmity when you have enmity between yourselves this will bring about jealousy because you will never wish something good to be for your enemy you will always wish the best for yourself and if you have an enemy you will not like this enemy of yours to be blessed with any of the blessings yes chef the then second. We, we also looked at hubbu uh, dunya and hubbu dunya love of this earthly world earthly world earthly mm. life hubbu dunya but whenever we are we have to, to remind ourselves that the earthly life is short wa ma hadhi al hayat al dunya illa illa lahu wa la it is just a period of time a short period of time. The Prophet, peace be upon him, told us in one of his traditions that he kun fi dunya ka annaka gharibun aw abidi sa'abidi. Live this earthly life ka annaka gharibun. As a stranger. As a stranger. Aw abidi sa'abidi. Or someone who is crossing the road. Crossing the road. You are here today. Tomorrow you are here. You're not going to live here longer. So, so when someone has the love for this dunya so much inside the heart, yes. this person is going to is bound to have envy mm. because he is not even going to think about meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for this reason, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the understanding that here we are living temporarily and mm. soon we are to meet our maker. Reason number three about the reasons which bring envy inside someone's heart, we are looking at the whole al-fadlu wa ni'ma, talking Loving about making mention of whatever Allah mm. has blessed you with. So when Allah has given you such and such a blessing, when you talk about it in front of those who don't even wish to have it in their lifetime, you see me, I've studied this. You see me, I've graduated out of this, but you are talking to people who are unrelated, who have never gone to school, who have never studied anything. So these yes. people will just have envy even if you think something else up about them. So whenever you talk about what Allah has blessed you with, talk about it in a way of thanking Allah. But when you talk about it, when you are like showing off about others, it's going to convert into jealousy. Then the fourth one, mm. at ta'azuz wa tarafa. Yes. Loving the presidency. Yeah. And seeking the what? The prestige. Yes. To yourself. To lead everything. You want to be the superior every time. You want to be the chairman of everything. So it also. You want to be at the topmost yes. positions. Mm. But be there when you have worked for them. Yes. If not, then you will be having envy about those people who are at the topmost positions. Yes. Then the other factor is that al mujawara wal mukhalata, nearing or being closer to those people who are going to have envy about you. Mm. In this, I also rem remember one of the sayings of Umar. He yes. said that it is good for Muslims to be loving themselves and to be 
far from one another. If I like you, mm. it is better to be far from you, such that I just come to pay you a visit and I go. But whenever we stay in the same place, in the same compound or in the same area, it will be easy mm. for someone to be picky, to be picking something out of whatever you do. Yes. So you get that. It also results into envy. But if it takes me two weeks to see you and I see you once, it is better mm. that way. That's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us a guidance and he said that uh, uh, he said that Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Zuru Ghibban Tazdad Hubban Visit one another but take some time. Don't be visiting every day, every day. Take some time like a week then you come. Take a week and you come but when you visit one every time, every time, your visitation will be taken into something else. So, as we summarize, we take this as a chance to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and another chance to appreciate whatever blessing that he has given us in provision and that is yet to give us to be safeguarded from people with evil eyes, people with envy, people with jealousy. We keep and conceal that which we think that if most and majority of the people land on, they will be starting to trade, they will start to envy us, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give, to give us the guidance. Also, in one of the ways that we can avoid having or oh, getting envied and uh, people with jealous upon us is mm. the recitation of the last three surahs, mm. Surah Al-Ikhlas, mm. most importantly Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, because they safeguard us from the dangers of Al-Hasad. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this opportunity. Sheikh yeah, may give yes. us the last three months. Yes, if, if someone were to say that I'm, I'm so envy, I can't control my, my heart on that, how can I remove that jealousy on my heart? So one, one, ad, one advice, the first advice I give you, Ittaqullaha attaqwa wa sabaro. Having piety, Having piety and, and patience. patience. Mm. So, if you keep yourself on that, you will move your heart and clean it, and clean that envy on your heart. The second thing, exercising the rights of the envy by giving the gifts to your friends having that good heart the third one not to, to hate it one another the fourth one knowing that envy is harmful to the envious in the world and hereafter then the fifth one, praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and always praise that someone which you feel that you are envious to him. Then the sixth is one, spread peace to one another, to your friends, to your family, to one you live with. Then the seventh one, remember the reckoning day and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you are envious to someone, Allah will punish you. It is an evil. So you have to be kind to one another and you love one another. Wa kunu ibad Allahi ikhwanan. Be friends. Be brothers to one another so that Allah ta'ala reward you abundantly and reward us abundantly. So, we praise again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah to ta'ala to accept whatever we do and to bless us in this uh, in this life and even after this life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please us.